Hey guys and welcome back to Star Wars The Force Unleashed 2. In the last part we were on Kato Nimoidias looking for Coda. And we've learned from the local dictator Baron Tarko that Coda is being held in the arena. So that's where we need to be going right now. Um, yeah, there's a bunch of missile walkers blasting crap at us. But you just grab them with the force and throw them right back or at other enemies. <sighs> ah man, Coca-Cola, some good stuff. Okay, awesome finisher. Push all the missiles back and BAM! Blown the shit out of it. But in all honesty, I don't really like these missile walkers because they're annoying. You can't really get close to them or else they'll kick you. And, uh... Hmm, that works. Oh, great staff, guys. Lovely. Luckily, they're not immune to uh, the force. So, let's pick them up and throw them. Ah, man, there's a bunch of Sith acolytes in my back, isn't there? Okay, it's just one. And luckily these guys have no way of defending themselves against saber attacks. Uh, there's one over there as well. You, I'm gonna slice your arms and head and legs and tailbone off. Okay, now let's take the elevator. Uh, why is the elevator not doing anything? We have to like push a switch or something or destroy something, destroy a statue. Because vandalism is fun. Now come on. Just go already. Why is it not going? I don't get this. Is it a glitch? Is it a game breaking glitch? Does it prevent me from moving on? Do we have to re record this entire LP? I better hope not. Oh, come on. What the hell is this? Is there something out here? Oh, there's another Sith acolyte. The, el the elevator don't doesn't work because I didn't kill that guy yet. What bullshit is that? You have to kill all enemies before the elevator works. They could have at least. Oh uh, yeah, now the elevator works. Freaking. Ah. It's stuff like that that makes me angry. Okay, elevator, where are you taking us? Are we nearly there yet? What do you mean, now let's see me run? Oh, crap. It's another one of those segments. Running away from a gunship shooting the ever-loving crap out of anything behind you. Run, bitch, run! And, of course, the poor stormtroopers are going to get owned. Because they can't run nearly as fast as Starkiller can. Ooh, uh, force energy tank. Always nice. Uh, let me go, let me go, let me go. Run, run, run. No oh, crap. What the hell is he doing now? Did I die? Is this a slow motion death thingy? Or what is he? Okay, we're jumping through the roof. Okay, that makes sense. Well, at least we lost that tailing gunship. Uh, let's see, is there anything in this room? No. Okay, now where are we? Oh, great. Snipers on the upper levels. Oh, and a green holocron. That's a maximum health increase. I want that. Got him. And slice and dice the freaking scout troopers. Ah, double impale. That's awesome. Haha, uh -huh, you got two lightsabers in your backer, jester, whatever. 
Alright, stormtroopers, kill them. Shock him. Aw oh, man. Lightning killed him before I could even get to him. Uh, this looks like a way out. Oh great, those bullets mean jump troopers. Wonderful. And at least our lightning hits more than one enemy now, so that's a plus. Slice that guy up. And saber throw the other guy. Man, we're getting way too... We're not nearly getting enough uh, heads and arms flying in all directions. Really ought to level up my lightsaber soon. But first, kill the Sith Acolyte guy, because I do not like him. And then I can deal with those. Give me my lightsabers. Man, what the hell is shooting at me? Ah, oh, great, another Sith Acolyte. Ugh. Why did they put that enemy in the game? Ooh, force power upgrade available. Sweet. Don't know what the hell it is, but uh, we'll check in a bit. Or we'll just save points. And why is there a hologram of Jabba the Hutt on Kato Nimoidia? That makes no sense whatsoever. Anyways, we can move on now to the next part of the room. And obviously we have to get up there. What's that saber throw? Okay, we uh, cut the elevator cables. Okay. Yeah, yeah, we know how to do the lightning grenade. We played the first game. And the combat didn't really change all that much. Apart from uh, the loss of lightning shield. You know, the uh, lightning shield power-up, which I never ever used in the Force, in my, in my uh, Force Unleashed 1 LP, because it's so god-awful. They uh, replaced that with Mind Trick in this game, which isn't that great either. But it's more useful than lightning shield ever was. I mean, I remember I played the Xbox version of uh, Force Unleashed 1. It had an achievement for killing... 500 enemies with lightning shield, I think it was. Now, let me tell you, if you have that achievement or a trophy or whatever, you have earned my eternal respect because uh, I, for one, could not bear having to kill 500 enemies with that useless power. Break the bank. I don't know what that does, but we have another trophy, yay! Even though I don't really give a crap about those. Like, I mean, okay, it's nice to get them, but I'm not, like, gonna do, gonna go out of my way to get special trophies and stuff. Like, I'm not a completionist. I don't want the platinum trophy for every game I have. And we slice another elevator cable, and down we go. I, if I can just get a missile walker to stop shooting at me. Okay, now what? It's smoky in here. Oh joy, it's another Carbonite Wardroid. Great. They're the new Purge Troopers, pretty much. Except they're uh, easier to kill than Purge Troopers. Just get rid of that shield. Bang it against his head. Shock him for a bit, and then he should be uh, close to dying. Unfortunately, I can't see crap with all this smoke. Or is that uh, just carbonite residue from his gun? Does look like it. Okay, let's kill him now. Slice him open a bit. Yeah, yeah, we know the deal. Slice his arm off and then he freezes himself. Sucker. Okay, moving on. There's a bunch of people frozen in carbonite here. I guess the wardroid kind of went on a rampage. Uh, looks like he'll have a better vantage point from a... Aw oh man, another one. Seriously. And a whole bunch of enemies. Oh great. Doors close. And he freezes the door. Apparently they don't want Starkiller getting out of here. 
But Starkiller says, screw that. Ah, crap. No, I don't want to get frozen. There we go. That's, uh... The Carbonite thingy, I think I've said it before, but I also feel that's a God of War ripoff with the whole uh, Gorgons. Like, stay in the beam long enough and you get frozen and then they can kill you in one hit. Yeah, God of War 3 came out about, uh... Seven months before this game did, and I think LucasArts uh, took a little... Took a few things out of God of War's page for uh, this game. But I don't blame them because God of War is like the king of hack and slash games these days. Screw Devil May Cry, screw Ninja Gaiden, screw Bayonetta, God of War 3 is where it's at. Okay, uh, dealt with all the major or the minor enemies, now deal with the Wardroid. Don't freeze me. Is that thing about dead yet? Okay. Quick time event. Uh, it gets real dull if you have to see these like every damn time. I mean, they're impressive the first few times around, but not after that. And apparently the droid didn't know that. Because the door's frozen, we can just blow a hole in it now. So yeah, it died in vain. And in this room, you can get a little bonus thingy. Yeah, yeah there's, a, there's the Jabba hologram again, but there's also three statues of Guybrush Threepwood. The protagonist from LucasArts' Mon Tales of Monkey Island series. And if you do something in this room, you can get an, a costume that makes Starkiller look like Guybrush Threepwood. Though I don't really know what you have to do here. I read something about it on the internet, but I don't really know for sure. Oh wait, there's a red thingy above my head. What's that? You found a new costume. Okay, we have it now. The Guybrush Threepwood costume. Even though I'm not going to be using it because it's not canon, obviously. And oh snap, it's that gunship again. So, more escaping, and this time with a really awesome camera angle. And now what are we... Okay, we, we're getting on the tram. Now move it. Ooh, this thing's going super fast. Because we need to get to that, to that uh, other city over there. And, of course, TIE Fighters. And, of course, they die to uh, one shot of lightning. Ah, Starkiller, you're so overpowered. I mean, you destroy Starfighters by pointing your finger at it. Not even Phoenix Wright can do that. Okay, any more? Or was that it? I think that was it. There we go. Ah, oh, crap, the gunship's still after us. It's opening... Some hatches and the, the, mi the minigun. Oh, not the minigun. Oh, great. It's a semi-boss battle against the gunship. And yeah, it shoots missiles that you have to deflect back at it. Really not all that hard. Think of it as a missile walker on steroids. But the tram you're on has its own health meter, so you might want to block uh, those things, or your trip will be cut short. You can't really do anything about the lasers, but you can at least make sure that the missiles don't hit the uh, thingy. Okay, doing pretty good. It's smoking already. Fire. Lightning's not going to help very much. Okay, here come the missiles again. Bam, 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 and uh, because I don't know how long this fight's going to take, I'm going to cut it here, and I'll continue it in the next part of The Force Unleashed 2. Bye-bye.